Welcome to your daily double reading. Today we are going to be getting guidance for you on your upcoming opportunities. And this of course is a short term pull. So we're looking at today, the next few days, perhaps over the weekend. And to do that, we're going to be using the Goddesses Among Us deck along with the Spectra World Tarot. And we're gonna get two card combos for you to choose from. So you're looking at this or that. And I would just say for this, we're really tapping into Goddess Guidance. So you wanna leave your channel quite open. See if you're getting a nudge or you're getting a lean to one side or the other. This is, again, this is always a this or that pull. It makes it a whole lot easier for your intuition to uh, direct you when you only have two choices, right? That's why we do doubles like this. We want the quick and easy answer. This or that. <laughs> okay, let's add the tarot. And this is a very bright tarot deck. It, it makes me feel like the, the goddesses are bringing something in, uh, like an opportunity, right? That is going to be undeniable or uh, like you're not gonna be able to miss it. That kind of feeling. There's one. Ooh, okay. Make sure these are set for you. Mm. Okay, card combo number one or card combo number two. Once you have made your selection, head down to the description and click on the timestamp next to the card combo that you've chosen, and I will see you in your daily double reading. Hello group one and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo for your message about your upcoming opportunities and the goddess that you'll be working with here. Oh, Persephone, card number four, youth, innocence, and rebirth, wonderful. This most certainly is the essence of blooming. It feels like the death card, she's obviously helping you to rise. Okay, from, could be from a dark place, for sure. Um, it also could be this feeling of like a rejuvenated, um, yeah, youth, perhaps. It's just this, it's a young energy that they're trying to give me. So it's like rejuvenated innocence or rejuvenated youth, re rebirthing your youth or rebirthing your innocence. But it's a lightness. It feels like um, almost a weight is being lifted or instead of that it's like you're you're rising right so you're leaving the weight behind and she's meant to help you with that also this is card number four so that's a very stable and supportive number let's see what we have here oh yes the queen of coins queen of pentacles this showed up yesterday so if you're getting that twice then you know you may be um really engaging in this kind of beautiful abundant energy stability energy abundance prosperity i love this this is like a rebirth that's going to be showing up in your physical state so you may be changing things around making things more beautiful allowing certain things to bloom nurturing new things in your life the opportunity here is to recognize that you have the chance to uh they just said collect abundance they just said that. Interesting. It's like noticing the things that you have in your life that you really uh, love so much and that you want to keep and that you want to um, grow or even grow with um, that you enjoy, right? Because the Queen of Pentacles really enjoys her physical experience. It's like she works hard, but she's really happy to uh, take part in the physical pleasures as well. And so recognizing those things in your life, the opportunity to do that over the weekend, it's going to be very evident for you. But I think at the same time, uh, you know, when you have Persephone, you're kind of being pulled out from the underworld energy. So you're coming from the, you're coming out from the dark. You're allowing yourself to rise out of the dark. So she's kind of giving you 
This is what we want to be in. This is the focus. This is the abundant energy. This is grounding us here on the physical plane, supporting us. This isn't, right? So I feel like there's also going to be an opportunity for you to recognize uh, what doesn't work, the death energy. You see the skull tattooed right on her arm there, that that connects to this rebirth. There's something that's dying that needs to be let go of and released and something that is needing to be reborn at the same time. And you may have very clear insight about what that is, especially physically uh, over the weekend because we're dealing with pentacles, we're dealing with earth energy. You see the blooming and blossoming. I feel like at the same time, this is, to me, this feels like I am looking at it from above. So what, what is being released or left behind, we can't see, but it's just falling away. So you want to pay attention to how she's highlighting for you what is blooming, what is blossoming, this lighter energy, a youthful energy. Could be in your body, could be in your spaces, could be in your energy, could be anywhere really, but you've got it physically for sure. Where do you feel physically lighter? What happens before you feel a sense of relief? Um, what makes you feel youthful, right? Uh, what allows you to go back to that place of joy or innocent energy. That's what you want to notice. And then you also at the same time are going to see the other side. I feel that coming through for you. Like it's going to be made very evident, the opportunity for you to acknowledge and accept the things that are not providing that for you in your life and that you want to be pulled away from or rise up from. So it's a bit of a deep message, but I feel like there's something wanting to bloom here and you, group number one, are meant to recognize that over the next few days so that in the future you can choose that for yourself. And she'll be highlighting that for your rebirth over the weekend. So I hope that this serves you, group number one. It's quite nice. It means that changes are afoot and there's a real prosperity and abundance that is going to be channeled in and available to you if you choose to accept it, right? If you choose to accept it, thank you, Spirit. If this message served you and you are resonating with it today, please leave me a thumbs up or hit that like button for me. And if you enjoyed the reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and I will see you in the next Daily Double. Hello group two and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the second card combo here and we're getting messages about your upcoming opportunities today and for the next few days and we're working with a goddess here. So let's see which energy, which goddess is coming in for you. Fridge or frig. Fertility, family, partnership. Mm, and it's an eight. This is a reconnection to the higher understanding, infinity energy, the reciprocity energy, what it is you're looking to grow, who it is you're connecting to. Um, it feels like you're going to have some, in, in a real like blunt and simple form, it feels like you're going to have time this weekend to spend with yeah, like they're saying in partnership with, but spend time with people that you love, people that you care about, people that make you feel abundant, people that um, make you feel almost in alignment, like you're part of their tribe or you're part of their community or you guys get each other and she's bringing you together. So I would say if you don't have plans, then you may want to make some. If you find you have an invitation, make sure that it feels good to you, like it feels like it's going to not necessarily boost you, but make you feel reconnected in some way. Um, it's almost like this uh, peace is, is coming into your weekend or the next few days to help you flow with the partnerships, the relationships, the people you are communing with, the energetic exchanges you are making with others. I gotta see what this is here. The Knight of Wands, wow. This almost looks like a potion here. This looks like a potion bottle. It's being lit up. The Knight of Wands is the fastest moving night. So yeah, things may come out of the blue. Maybe you're gonna get an invitation, someone texts, hey, we're all hanging out, da da da. Like, let, come on over and you're like, oh, this is gonna be so fun. I feel like it's going to, she's going to bring you together. There's a peaceful vibe that she has connected to this fiery energy. So 
um, things being lit up, you feeling really passionate about something, you feeling really inspired to get together. Maybe you have um, a connection that's going on that's super passionate as well. So if this is like romantic, you may find that you meet somebody or you become in partnership with someone or you're um, like a flame returns to a current relationship where you get either really excited, um, really, yeah, like passion erupting if it's romantic, right? Or if it's a friendship of some sort, you guys may just have this like creative hit and you might be on like an inspiration track where things start to move and you're like, let's do this. Like it's the feeling of people coming together with this open, peaceful energy and then lighting a fire to all be inspired in some way. So it's connecting to passion, whether that's physical, creative, emotional, it could be, it could be mental, like ideas are sparking everywhere and you're meant to take them into consideration for sure and move on them. I would move on any kind of inspiring invitation you have to meet up with people. If you feel like, I really I really should call this person, I really should text this person, it, that would be so nice. I wouldn't hesitate to do that. Anything that's going to make you feel lit up. <laughs> okay, I was waiting for the phrase they were going to use there lit up that's what you're going for and again you see how she's like kind of like has her hands on her hips the way she does she's just kind of fertile there right the fertility energy she's just kind of it's like a knowing a peaceful knowing this is sparking on purpose this connection is on purpose this invitation is on purpose this feeling that you're having is on purpose take the opportunity to follow the fire Right, follow the fire, exactly. Okay, well, I hope this serves you today and over the weekend, group number two. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't wanna miss my future readings, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if something is resonating with you in today's reading, please give this video a like and I will see you in the next Daily Double.